Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be continuing with the AP Calculus BC syllabus. I'm going to be discussing L. Hopital's rule. This is a very important rule and it gets tested very frequently in the AP Calculus BC exam. So the rule states that when f of x, so f of x is a function, and f of x divided by g of x has an indeterminate form. So when it's an indeterminate form, some examples are 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity. So when f of x by g of x is an indeterminate form, at x equals c, so at x equals c, it's an indeterminate form, then we can replace f of x by g of x by the quotient of the derivatives. So let me give you an example. So f of x by g of x. So if it's an indeterminate form at x equals c, you can replace it by f of x, sorry, f dash of x divided by g dash of x. So the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. So, but one important thing to know is if you get like four by zero or something, as your answer for f of x by g of x, you cannot use this rule. It has to be zero by zero infinity by infinity or any other indeterminate form. So in order to use this rule, it's important that a few conditions are met. The first one is that g dash of c should not be equal to zero. So if the denominator is zero, then the limit is undefined, right? So that should not be true. And then also, there should you should not have any oscillating functions. The function should not oscillate as x approaches c. So as x approaches c, there should be no oscillating functions. So as x approaches c, there should be no oscillating functions. The limit must approach a single value, a single value of y. Now, finally, the third condition that must be met, I'm writing it here, is that limit x tends to c f of x pi g of x should not be equal to plus or minus infinity if the so if but if the limit approaches infinity as x approaches c then the limit is undefined right so you should make sure these con these three conditions are met if you want to use the l orbitals rule so now let me give you an example of a question so this example will help you understand the rule better so limit x tends to 5 2x square minus 9x minus 5 divided by x minus 5. So now this is our function, right? f of x is the numerator and g of x is the denominator. The first thing we do is, is plug 5 into this. So 2 into 5 square minus 9 into 5 minus 5 divided by 5 minus 5. So 5 squared is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So 50 minus 45 minus 5. That is 0. The denominator is also 0. So now that we got this, we should, in the AP exam, we should clearly write that this is indeterminate. This is indeterminate because numerator and denominator is zero. So you should write this down. Now what we can do is we can apply the L-Hopital's rule. 
we have to differentiate the numerator and denominator separately. So this becomes limit x tends to 5 f dash of x divided by g dash of x. So this is 4x minus 9 divided by 1 as the derivative of x is 1. Now we substitute x as 5. So 4 into 5 is 20 minus 9 divided by 1. This is equal to 11. Now that we've got this value, we should clearly write our final answer. We should write it like this. Limit x tends to 5, 2x square minus 9x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is equal to 11. So this is what we have to write and this is the final answer. So now I'm going to be giving you all one question to do at home. So to do for your homework so that you can practice this question again. And if you guys get it, let me know your answer in the comment section below. Limit x tends to minus infinity x squared divided by e to the power of minus x. So limit x tends to minus infinity x squared divided by e to the power of minus x. Okay, that's it for today's video, guys. In today's video, I discussed L. Hopital's rule. I discussed how you do it, the conditions which have to be met, and an example. Thank you.